President, this is Ernie Harwell. Mr. President, it's an honor. Well, great to see you. Well, good to see you. I come from a different era of baseball. Than <laughs> right, Bruce. that's right. But uh, we're both announcers. Uh, yep. Yep. And I, uh, I just thought that maybe, uh, as long as you were coming in here, maybe you'd like to autograph this book. Oh, before. beautiful. I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I've got one. All right. Yeah, I'm saying uh, best wishes, Mr. President, who overcame being a sports announcer. <laughs> well, God bless you. Led to everything else being a Thank sports you, sir. announcer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember you used to work for Wheaties. Yeah. And I worked for oh, Wheaties. Yes. I worked in Atlanta first when we used to have that uh, old baseball paper, uh, bases and cases. Remember that? No. That Wheatie got out. That. Uh, at all the announcements. Home run, you had right. to say there's another case of Wheaties. That's so. right. <laughs> and uh, when in Atlanta, the ball players were all single, and they gave me their cases of Wheaties. Well, for heaven's sake. And my dog got to love Wheaties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Well, now let me see. You're the. Uh, is it simulcast or are you doing just TV? No, I do radio. radio. I do radio. Oh, yes. That's George Kell and Al Kaline awesome. do our TV. I, 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 w I wouldn't like. See it there. It's so different. Right? Radio is a lot more fun. It sure is. You know, they say nothing happens until you say it does on the radio. That's right. <laughs> Incidentally, have you ever gotten caught and uh, did what I did on one occasion? The old uh, recreations? Yeah. The music. Pile off a few? Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> this is the place where I think I set a world record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I fouled off a few in my day. <laughs> and then when the, when the wire started again, in the first message, I Started a ball on the way to the plate, thought here it was, <laughs> took it, and said, he popped out on the first ball pitch. <laughs> right. I remember when I wanted to get home, we had him hit the first ball all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's good to see you. Well, thank you for the audience, sir. Appreciate that. And thank you for this now. My pleasure. Mr. President, while Ernie's here, maybe it'd be nice if you sign a copy for Ernie if you want to put your autograph on it. Well, I'd be honored nice. if you do that for me. Turn tables on him, shall yes. I love that ceremony this morning. That's really Colorful and, and beautiful. I always look at you see the young men along the line. Isn't that something? Here. Thank you, sir. No. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Well, good to see you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> you know why? why? Because the damn things fall off all the oh, time. I know. And I'm I writing tired. all the time, and just from the motion of writing, all of a sudden that. So I, will... I kind of jam them on like that. I figured. <laughs> Good to see you all again. Hello, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How are you? Nice to see you again. Here's a pleasure. Come on, Mr. President. Yes, sir. It looks like my living our own people in this. It looks like maybe it's next week that we we don't have a time on the boat yet as to whether we've caught up with those ten or twelve boats that we that we need. But uh, so you're helping support the work here. We've been working very hard and going to continue to do that. It's, I don't have to tell you how important it is. You know. So, uh, well, what do you? We have met uh, with uh, the commanders of the three fronts, Mr. President. Both of the uh, operating ones are operating in the northern part of Nicaragua. Oh, great. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Pleased to have you. How are you? Good. 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 Good
My English is maybe more poor than my country, but uh, to save time, uh, I prefer to speak in English. If necessary, they have to have time. We are really very concerned about the problem in Central America, the problem for the human rights and uh, the problem for the church, the freedom of the church. I think the strength of the church in that case and in other cases is the strength of democracy. Uh, in Ceylon, uh, I think about uh, 800, maybe more than 800 bishops. I agree with the uh, ideas. I am supposed to them to know. Very few bishops, they are uh, in the land. We, we are for peace. We are against uh, violence. The executive, and that's Bill Taylor, who is standing right up here on my left and who has done so much for the Better Business Bureau, independent sector, the National Association of Manufacturers, the round of applause for these organizations and their representatives who are here with us this morning. The president will join us shortly. Eddie Press. Thanks, John, and again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to each of you, recipients, for your dedication to Yana, one of today's award winners. Their annual We Care program raises thousands of dollars at Christmas time for families who's from man hours to air time. And it's a genuine community project with full support from both local businesses and government. CNN's Mr. Two credit for success of the Missing Children's program extends beyond the pictures on the television screen. It also belongs to the milk producers and the grocery stores who are keeping a watchful eye to make this campaign work. That is what the Private Sector Initiative Program is all about. But these are just two examples of more than 1,500 entries and literally hundreds of... such pleasant weather for today. Usually, in this season of the year, these summer events in the Rose Garden are a little like... <laughs> he obviously hadn't been here long because humility is not in great supply in this town. And I want to extend special thanks to John Phelan, who has very actively taken on the chairmanship of my vice chairman of the board is mobilizing the communications industry to recognize, model private sector initiatives around the country and help give credit where credit is due. And I also want to thank Bill. Thinking earlier about this sea flag ceremony and the spirit of kindness and caring it represents, I couldn't help but remember an old story. When you get to be my age, most stories you remember are old <laughs> and a few kind words. She said, don't eat the eggs. <laughs> The truth is, when we first came conditioned to 
always look to government first to steal a phrase from the private sector they were using it more but enjoying it less but have been forgotten in all those times that did him from the wind but it also restricted his arm movement somewhat and he hit a patch of ice skidded into a tree when the ambulance got there and the tens of cell boat their way through the crowd that had gathered and they said what happened one of the people that was there first said well we don't know when we got here he seemed to be all right but by the time we had his head turned around straight he was dead <laughs> <laughs> That story comes to mind when I think sometimes of Gafour. Between 1980 and 85, charitable giving in this country has risen over 60%. Private corporations have been an important part of this renaissance in New York to San Francisco attest. It's particularly significant that corporations and associations in this country are on the move in new and innovative ways. Property, personnel, products, and low interest loans have as much as tripled without replacing cash contributions or challenge too great when matched against American ingenuity and resourcefulness. All of you here today are shining examples of the can-do spirit of disadvantaged children to give Christmas gifts to their families. Can you ever imagine government thinking of that one or doing it? The Kroger Company donated 10 cents of every purchase for a certain number of items. Fedor Diaz Verzon, <laughs> Vice President, accepting Duke Power Company. Incorporated Dr. Donald Lobb, founder, accepting. King Supers Incorporated, Mr. Jim Baldwin, president and CEO, accepting. The director of promotions, accepting. Three M. Mr. Earl P. Bassett, Vice President of Government Affairs, accepting. Transamerica Corporation, Mr. William A. Simpson, President, accepting. West Station, Dr. Sally Newman, Executive Director, Generations Together, accepting. <laughs> WWKI Radio of Kokomo, Indiana, Dr. Rather, Mr. Donald R. Rice, accepting. Xerox Corporation, Mr. Robert. <laughs> Mr. President, are you thinking of granting diplomatic recognition to the Afghan resistance? No, no. I know I can't say no questions, no answers. Sam. You can say answers if you want. <laughs> Any response yet from Gorbachev, Mr. President? From our summit? You get back in your own door. They can give you a key. <laughs> 